Before Caitlyn Jenner, there was Gigi Gorgeous, the young YouTube star whose outrageous videos and moving personal story helped both change and open minds about transgender people. Tonight, my Nightline co-anchor Juju Chang takes us inside Gigi's fabulous but still sometimes challenging world with another installment of Social Stars. Yes, yes Juju and Gigi take LA. Love it. She is every inch the Hollywood fantasy version of perfection. Yeah, it's true. A Barbie come to life with platinum hair and six inch stilettos. I love it. It's, it's very Versace. Awesome. Do you love? But this voluptuous, gorgeous woman, aptly named Gigi Gorgeous, started life as a Canadian boy named Gregory. Ever since I was young, I knew I was different. I knew I felt like a girl. Hi guys, it's Gigi. Her honest and outrageous YouTube videos have made her a star in the internet age. It definitely makes her lips look full and glossy and healthy. With nearly 2.4 million YouTube subscribers watching her every move. Is there a Why do here? I look like a Muppet, but you look like a rock star? Why, Why is that? Know? I look like a Muppet. Gigi, who is now 24, came of age just as YouTube was starting to catch on. At first, as a gay teenager, sharing his love of makeup. So this look is super, super easy. And talking about his dates with boys. So yeah, from there, the weirdness escalated and the date got even worse. And then struggling in real time as thousands of fans watched with the idea that she was in fact transgender. This video is kind of me just telling you guys that I want to be female. I met, you know, a few people along the road and I said, you know what? No, I am transgender. It was kind of like a ding yeah. moment. Your self-discovery has been shared by millions. I came out twice, uh, essentially, on my YouTube channel. What was harder, coming out as gay or coming out as transgender? I think definitely coming out as transgender was harder for me because it was, it was more truthful. It was more raw. It was more real. Hi, guys. It's me, Gigi. Her unscripted life playing out for all to see years before Caitlyn Jenner. She shared everything from lighthearted shopping sprees and beauty tips to raw, intimate details of her plastic surgeries, of which there have been many. All I remember is just throbbing pain. Like, I thought, I, I felt like someone had shot me in my face. All this catapulting Gigi to bona fide hero status of the LGBTQ community and beloved by her fans. Who are Gigi's fans? Crazy, I have fathers that come and they're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm meeting you. Me and my daughter watch your videos and we bond over it. She showed me some of her favorite videos. This one is one that I filmed um, after a recent relationship and I got super creative and filmed a music video with my friend. And read me some comments, good and bad. While I am proud that a trans girl can fly around in a private jet and wear desi designer gowns, Gigi never acknowledges as how blessed slash lucky she is. And with all those fans and all those views. Leave them on for about an hour and then you are good to go to brush. Come endorsements, one big break from Crest in Canada. I'm gonna work with Crest. It was a huge honor to be with the first transgender, you know, spokesperson for the brand. It was a huge deal for me. But before the fame and fans, a struggle to fit in. Did you ever get bullied or harassed or? Absolutely, I, I was bullied awful in uh, elementary school. When high school came around, I found myself, I found my strength and my voice. But when she finally did, it was too late to tell her mother, who died from cancer when Gigi was 19. And there's no other point in my life where I would want her back more than I do right now, but I can't, I can't have her back. My mom is someone I never got to say in her eyes that I was transgender. And that's something that will always, always just sit not right with me. Beyond her personal struggles, Gigi is using her fame to confront issues facing the transgender community. What kind of message do you want to send? It's awful that there's so much discrimination in the world, but I would just say, hold on, be positive, find someone on YouTube that you can relate with. While Gigi's life now may seem carefree, her perfect pink bubble of existence burst dramatically on a recent long-awaited vacation to Dubai. I was denied entry into Dubai because I am transgender. What did you learn, if anything, from that detainment? I learned that discrimination is not over and it makes me scared for anybody else like me and maybe they didn't have the resources to get out or get help. It is very scary. 
back at home, she is a Hollywood it girl, teaming with Miley Cyrus to raise awareness for transgender issues. Everybody, Miley Cyrus. Even introducing her at the VMAs. I'm shopping with Gigi. It's that so good. is life. This is life. <laughs> her greatest weapon, being herself. Today, shopping for that next killer outfit to silence the haters. I'll be right back. Ta-da! Perfect for the red carpet, or perhaps her next date. Gigi, now happily in a relationship with a woman. And so you used to date a guy. Yes. And now you're dating a girl. Mm-hmm. Explain that to people who have a more linear view of sexuality. I found someone that I truly love, and I have fallen in love with her, and that's the truth. And you know, labels can be labels, but at the end of the day, love is love. But then, just hours ago, Gigi posting this video on her YouTube page. From this point forward, I am a lesbian. Coming out for a third time. But then someone may come along in your life that you're like, oh my God, ding, this is the person. And seeming to embrace a label she initially resisted. An ever unfolding story for an individual redefining the rules every step of the way. That was fun. That was super fun. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in Hollywood, California.